You can install the class files any place you want on a hard drive, but the compiler and the JVM needs to be able to find them. That's done with a class path. You can either set the names in the class path environment variable, or you can specify the class path as a command line option. The environment variable is named class path. You set it to a list of directory names. Each directory contains a directory tree of class files, each one its own package. On a Windows system, the directory names are separated by semicolons. A typical command to set a window class path looks like this. On a Unix or Linux system, the directory names are separated by colons. You can set it this way. The period is the current directory. It's convenient to include the current directory, so you have your own class files in the current directory as part of the program that you're writing. Now, here's an important point. For standard Java, the standard set of classes that you get when you install the Java system, you don't need to set the class path. In fact, setting the class path incorrectly can cause the default set of classes not to be found. That's because any class path setting that you make replaces, not adds to, the default class path setting. Now, there's another way to do it. You can include the class path setting as a command line option to the compiler like this. If you do it this way, you'll also need to use a class path setting when you run the program. One advantage to the class path is that you can have the classes stored in different directories on different systems, yet the programs that you run will be portable from one system to the next. As long as the JVM can find the classes it needs, it can run the programs. One more point. So far, we've looked at packages being stored as class files in a tree of directories. You can take this tree full of class files and compress it into a jar file and use the names of the jar file in the class path, and it will work just as well. The compiler and the JVM will read the classes from a jar file just as well as from a standard directory. If you look in the lib, the lib directory of your Java distribution, you'll find jar files. That's where the system class files are located. The program used to manage the jar files is named jar. A jar file is the same as a zip file. In fact, you can use the zip utility to extract the files from a jar file. You need to use the jar utility to build a jar file, however, because the file contains a manifest file a list of all the files contained in the jar file. There is quite a bit more about jar files and they can be very handy but none of this is on the certification exam.